I'm so sorry I'm late. I just lost track of time while working on a paper, but- Cassie, I received a notice that your GPA dropped and that you've been put on academic probation. The school has regulations we have to follow. You had a responsibility to keep your GPA above a certain point and- Wait, Pad? I hate to do this, but we have to let you go for the rest of the semester. What? You can't do this to me! I'm doing all that I can! My hands are tied. You've known the rules since day one. You had to keep your grades up. I promise. I'll get my act together. I've just been really overwhelmed with schoolwork. Sorry, but I don't make the rules. Your grades are too low, and you've been late too many times. If you meet the GPA requirement at the end of the semester, you can apply for another work-study job then. Oh. Okay. Yo, what's up, guys? Yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> what's that? Uh, oh, it's nothing. It's about one of the pledges. Oh, no, I think I saw that. <laughs> you, you what? A what? Uh, so, anyways, that's actually a really good thing I ran into you guys. Uh, I'm thinking about having a party at my place tomorrow night. Would you guys be down to come? I think AGP is having their St. Patty's stuff all weekend, so I think everybody might be there. Oh, no, yeah, for sure. Uh, no, I just thought I'd try to have something in my place, because I can never get into those parties for some reason. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, if you end up having something, let us know. I might stop by. Yo, they're about to drop off a beer. We gotta head to the house. Yeah. All right, we'll catch you later, man. Uh, all right, no, no, you, uh, yeah, no, I gotta roll too, but uh, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> all right, see ya. Yeah. Dude, what is that kid doing? I can never remember that kid. It's Declan. Declan. Is that why you kept calling him man? <laughs> <laughs> what up, guys? Yeah, what's on? <laughs> Hey Cassie, I thought you wouldn't come until later. Uh, real quick, what's another word for raised up? I'm almost done with this assignment. Way to go, dude! You made her cry! Cass, don't worry, we're gonna figure this out. You just gotta calm down. You don't get it! I can't keep this job if I don't get good enough grades, but no matter what job I have, I don't have enough time to study, so I can't get the grades that I need to keep the job. And if I don't have a job, I can't afford to go to school. I could help pay for a tutor to help get your grades up. Or we could hire some really smart guy to do your assignments for you. I mean, that'd be pretty easy, yeah? How about we all go down there and yell at your boss until she gives you your job back? That'd be even easier. Here's the easiest solution. I'll literally just hack in and change your grades for you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Wait, you can actually do that? I, I don't know. I thought we were all just saying stuff to make Cassie feel better. Thanks. You guys are doing great. Cassie, you know we're here to help in any way we can. Uh, but for now, you shouldn't worry about any of this stuff. We'll just go have some fun for the rest of the night. You guys wanna go get some dinner? Yeah, definitely. Cool. You know what? I, I, I'm actually gonna hang back for a little bit and work on this assignment. I'll see you guys later tonight. All um. right, see ya.
Max. Max. You here already? We've been texting you all morning. We went for lunch earlier. Uh, yeah, I... I Wait, uh, did you sleep here last night? Well, no, I didn't sleep here. Oh, good, because it really looks like you did. I didn't have time <laughs> to sleep here because I was working on this all night, and I'm almost done. I just need one more thing. Cassie, what's your student ID number? <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? After you guys left last night, I got another stupid email about how I failed my creative writing midterm. And what does that have to do with my student ID number? Uh, listen, all I had to do was launch an SQL injection and work around their outdated monitoring systems. Max, what? If you just give me your student ID number, I'll be able to put in your grades, we can up your GPA, and you'll get your scholarship. I'm worried about you. <laughs> Cassie, I, 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 I'm fine. I, I thought this through. Come on, this could keep you enrolled. Uh, Max, I'm not doing this. You have what to What do you have to lose? You, when you get sent to jail for this. <laughs> I, I, I thought this through, guys. What do you think I've been doing for the past 18 hours? I'm being serious. I've done the research. The school hasn't updated their security software in years. And my VPN scrambles my IP address. They'll never trace it back here. So you can do that for anyone? Yeah, yeah. It's actually easier than I thought. Max, I can't ask you to do this for me. I'll just study harder. Library is open 24 hours for a reason. Cassie, the only thing you'd be asking me to do is press one button. Then the only thing you'd have left to worry about is the money you would make from your work study in the cafe. I promise. It's gonna be okay. And you're positive they can't trace it back to us? Positive. Fine. But please don't pull any more all-nighters for me. Come on. Okay, so my number is 518. Mm -hmm. 436. 436? Six. Anyway, so as soon as I heard this whole grade thing was even possible, you guys were like the first group of people I could even think of. Because I just think that like, this could really help you guys. Uh, not that you guys need help or anything. Like, like you guys aren't stupid. Like, I think you're really smart. But with the, the, for everything that's going on in their fraternity, I just... Is it safe? No. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no, this... It's safe. Uh, sorry, I don't know why I said that. Uh, yeah, no, this guy is legit. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, just sent you the money. Uh, so you should have gotten that. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Uh, thank you, man. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Yep. Yeah. What? Uh... My English professor keeps assigning so much homework. I don't even want to talk about English. I, I don't, don't know what to do. I don't want to talk about my professors. Ridiculous. Found a way for us to make money. So now that we know Max can do it pretty easily, I think we charge people money to change their grades. I don't think that's a good idea, and I don't think we should be talking about when this When was the so last loud. time you've seen anybody enter this room? Just hear me out. Listen, Cassie isn't the only one failing classes. I know a lot of people that are really struggling with school. We can help them while making some extra cash. <laughs> do you really think Max wants to do all that extra work? I'll do it. I mean, only if you guys want me to do it. If it'll help you get the rest of the money you need, I'm here to help. Wait, I'm... didn't this just start with us trying to save Cassie's scholarship? Yeah, and don't you think we should help her pay the rest of her tuition and her rent if we can? Well, yeah, but I don't think so we should So then it's settled. Guys, I could just start looking for jobs again soon. No, we, if you were already struggling in your old job, we don't want to put you back in that same position again. Yeah, I guess. I don't really have another choice. Sweet, well, <laughs> I'll send a text in the big AGP group chat and we'll get this thing going. Are you a moron? You can't just text your group chat. If we're gonna do this, we gotta be safe. All right, to do this right, we each need a job. So first up is Declan, the socializer. Declan's in charge of outreach. He'll meet up with people, make the connection, explain the process, get the customer's information, make the transaction. He'll collect the money and he'll make his way back to me, the organizer. I'll look at the requests, sort them all before we hand them off to Max. I'll make sure we're not changing too many grades in the same class or that any class is too small and that the professor would notice. At this point, we're ready to make the handoff to Max, the executioner. What, Max? Could I get a less intense name? Okay.
Oh, ah. No. What about, um, no. My ex used to call. No, Never mind. No, 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 no. What about the completioner? I guess that's fine, but um, it doesn't really flow with the rest of Max, the Max, the completioner. He will change the code in the school portal to accommodate the client's request. And then finally, we have Olivia, the mathematician. She will count up all the money and calculate our total sum. All right, guys, let's go. What should we get tonight? I think we should go with something different. Maybe tacos? Chinese? Mm, I don't know. Chinese food could be a hit or a mess, but you can never go wrong with pizza. It's just that we've had pizza the last couple nights. Declan, what do you want to get to eat tonight? Huh? Uh, yeah, whatever. I got more important news. So you guys know how I was saying I had some guys in the frat as clients? So one of them told the president about it. And he said the whole executive board- Wait a second, this is how we get caught. There is no, 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 no way- They offered us $1,200 to do it. We could do this and then just be done. Cassie would definitely get her money and we could also get a cut too. I think we should do it. How many people is it? Nine. We said we'd be finished after this. Yeah, well that was before I found out Everyone I stop. If we're gonna argue, let's at least be civilized. We shall handle this with proper justice, like we always do. It has been many months since we have brought out the scales of justice, but they have never failed to settle our debates. To reiterate the rules, each of us can propose a positive or a negative to accepting the offer from AGP. We will assign a certain number of rocks and place them onto the scales of justice. In the end, the scales of justice will point us in the right direction. Come on guys, please. I went all the way back to my apartment to get this. Max, nobody made you go get all of this stuff. Stuff of justice? Okay, let's just get this over with. Declan, why don't you go first? Thank you, Your Honor. In Article B, subsection Come C. Come on, Declan. Okay, fine. First of all, I think this will help get Cassie the money so she can stay at school. And obviously, we all want to make sure that happens. So I think that's worth five rocks. Objection. Five rocks might be a lot. We did make back almost all of the money that I needed. Sustained! So we will compromise at three rocks. Counter argument, this is dangerous. There are consequences for all of us, even if some of us don't want to be as involved as the rest. I think that's worth 10 rocks. 10 rocks, objection. Order! We have known there were consequences from the beginning, and I've taken precautions to make sure that it cannot be traced back to us. But Olivia is still right in the sense that the more we do this, the higher the risk. We will meet at six rocks. Do you guys not see how grave an opportunity this is? 
This is the perfect chance for us to finally get out of the house, meet some new people, and do something good. I don't see any reason why we need to stop now when this could just be the beginning. I think that's at least worth seven rocks. You can speak for yourself, but Guys. I'm perfectly- Max did say it's safe, so we don't have to worry about that. And it would help everyone involved. You're Everybody... not thinking straight! There's just so much on the line. For the good of the group, we have to put our safety above all. Cassie, I'll help you make back the rest of the money you need some other way. This isn't about the money anymore. What it comes down to is that we can help a lot of people who need it. If we have that ability, why shouldn't we use it? Olivia, this is important to us. And if you're not able to see that, why well, don't see how you could really be for the good of the group. So I guess it's settled then. Trust me, Olivia. We'll be fine. I'm glad we're all on the same page here. This will definitely be worth our while. Whew. All right. I guess we can go back to my place. I'll be there in a second. I'm going to finish an assignment first. Max, are you sure you checked everything? Is there any way this could have been traced back to us? Uh, Olivia, you gotta hear this email just sent from the dean. We have been made aware of an issue with Hendrickson University's grading system. We are unsure if this is a result of a glitch in the system or a deliberate attempt to tamper with our system from an external force. But we will be opening an investigation and we'll solve this problem shortly. One of Declan's stupid friends probably ratted us out. I mean, oh, who else? My friends? No way. Max, you're the one who did all the oh, posts, oh, so I couldn't oh, have Don't you realize? It doesn't matter who did this. In any case, it's a sign. A message telling us we've been riding on thin ice for too long. We're bound to get caught, so why don't we get out now where we're still safe? Olivia, oh my god. You're absolutely right. How did we not think of this before? What were we thinking? <laughs> we're practically criminals. Uh, practically criminals? We are criminals. <laughs> yeah. But if we stop now, we'll be safe. And it's all thanks to this anonymous tip. Uh, thanks a lot, Olivia, for talking wow. some sense into us. <laughs> Give it up for Olivia, everybody. <laughs> Ready to go, Olivia? Uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm still working on this assignment. All good. Cool. See ya. This group has already paid, so we can get started on their request. But this group hasn't, so we should wait until Declan gets in touch with them before we do anything. Did you get paid by the second group yet? Not yet. I haven't been able to get in touch with them all day. Is today a holiday or something? Guys, did you see the email sent by the school? Um, no, I, I haven't. Uh, let me look. We have been made aware of an issue with Hendrickson University's grading system. We are unsure if this is a result of a glitch or a deliberate attempt to tamper with our system from an external force. But we will be opening an investigation and will solve this issue promptly. What? Whoa, that's crazy. I thought we were being safe. Maybe the system is just better than we thought? No, th there's no way. I triple checked all my code. There's no way this can get back to us. I mean, maybe somebody snitched? It could have been one of the AGP guys, 
But you guys don't think they do that to us, though, right? Do you guys think we're in over our heads? I mean, now that the school has whoa, an idea, whoa, whoa, I think- slow down. The school doesn't know anything. There's no way they can trace back to us. We literally got an email saying that they're starting an investigation. Don't you think that's a reason to reevaluate? Guys, keep in mind this was a school-wide email. They don't know anything yet, so we still have time. Are you insane? Don't you realize how lucky the timing of this is? They have no idea we're involved, so we could just get out now while we're still safe. You can't just drop everything. We'll be sitting ducks. There are dozens of people who know we were involved in this. If the school starts an investigation, it's only a matter of time. We need to stay on top of our clients, keep them happy, and eventually we'll find our way out of this. Cassie's right. Whoever read on us had a reason to do it. So let's not give any of us a reason to sell us out. Olivia, I know things are getting a little crazy. So if you want out, no. I'm in. All right. Declan, why don't you get on the phone with your AGP guys and we'll try and see who did this. Max, you and I are gonna go through every client's grades and see if any of the teachers changed their grades back. As long as we're looking out for each other, you got nothing to worry about.